going on YouTube folks? It's your boy MVP Master J back again with another video for you today. Uh right now I'm in um Ohio. I'm in uh, let me see. <laughs> Licking Ohio. <laughs> uh I'm reporting at a TA off of I'm on I-70. Don't remember what exit. I had, I had to pee really bad, so I just like got off. And I luckily seen a TA, so yeah. For all you guys that are very good with um you know what's the word geometrics or whatever yeah you should know anyways yeah so yeah i'm here at this ta um i got some time oh yeah so quick breakdown on my load i guess um i'm just coming from pennsylvania and i was just i just seen on agent my's channel literally right before i while i was eating uh right before i started this video and came back to my truck um there was a bad accident on the ice, uh, what is it, 78? Uh, westbound, like a six truck pile up. Yikes. I'm like, I'm like, damn, I literally just left PA. Well, I didn't start driving until like 11 a.m.-ish, you know, noon. But still, I literally just left Pennsylvania. But I was on the um, 70. Which, I don't really like driving on a 70. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, so yeah, I delivered in um, Pennsylvania, Bedford, Pennsylvania, to Walmart, um, DC, and yeah. So that load w was scheduled for 7:30. I got there around 6:20. They unloaded me. Uh, it only took about probably like two hours. Had to find the nearest truck stop. I found a Flying J. That's where I parked that for the night. Stop driving around midnight. And now my next load, I guess I guess there's like, I guess we're in a recession right now, which I heard, but yeah, I have to go all the way from PA to Indiana to pick up this load. So it's like a 420 mile deadhead. Yeah, but that's trucking for you, right? Um, and then I'm delivering that load to Alabama and that load I don't pick up till midnight right now it's and I'm only 193 miles from there right now and right now it's like 3 p.m. wait let me check my watch real quick 4 4 p.m. right now Eastern Standard Time I got I got time so and I don't know if they have overnight parking I think I, I think they do I think they do actually so I'm gonna start driving again maybe like around 6 p.m. 7 p.m. ish. It's only three hours away. So, yeah, 6:30, 6:30. But anyways, um, so I just remembered that I reached my six-month mark at Prime. Technically, yeah, because I passed. I started Prime in mid-February. Yeah, I started probably in like mid-February, towards the ending of February, and I passed on March 17th, so this is um, my, I guess, six-month review, I guess, uh, I didn't really plan this video, um, I'm not a type of person I kind of write, to write down video ideas, I usually just, I'm very scatterbrained, so whenever it just pops in my head, I'm just trying to just do it immediately, uh, that's why I don't usually have all my words together, but who cares? Uh, so I'm just like a one take type of uh, recording type of person. So this is just all one take. Anyway, so six months experience at Prime uh, was I think last month made my six months. Yeah, September made my six months. And all I can say is it's been a pretty good experience. Um, it hasn't been too bad. Yeah, you have your downs. You know, some people get hung. Now some people have gone through like you know bs so yeah i've heard stories where some people have gone through some bs and you know i kind of didn't blame them if they did leave but remember this is my experience it doesn't mean that your experience is going to go the same way yeah because you know some people ask some of these questions oh do this that I understand keep doing your research and ask veterans 
questions. They're better. Uh, I guess you can learn some things from rookies. Uh, since I'm a rookie, I'm still trying to learn every single day and getting prepared for my first winter. That's another thing too. Uh, nervous? Yes. Yes, I am. I'm not going to lie or sugarcoat that. I am nervous about it. But is it going to make me quit? No. I knew what I signed up for before I got here. I knew what I signed up for. That's what, what's one thing I want to say, you know, if you're come, planning on coming into trucking, not just prime, trucking period, know what you're going to sign up for. I believe trucking is like one of the top 10, maybe 15 most dangerous jobs in the US. So remember, what, don't get blinded by the money. Cause that's one thing a lot of people do. They get blinded by the money. And I'm gonna say again, don't ask me how much money I make because I'm not going to disclose it. There are some channels that do, I'm not gonna do it. Um, I don't like my finances on social media. So anyways, just know I'm doing just fine for myself. And plus, everybody's living circumstances is different. Some people got an entire family to take care of. Some people, you know, all that stuff. That's neither here nor there. So for my six month spirits, it's been good. There's been some bads, but I, I say it's been, it's been good for me actually. Uh, but at the same time, I want to say that with, I guess with a grain of salt, cause I'm, I'm sure there's probably gonna be some people that comment like, oh, I remember, I, I remember I had a comment before one person, they were like, and I, I, I hate. <laughs> let me stick on one topic. I, I have a bad habit of doing that. I had a. I had a, someone comment on uh, one of my videos before. I guess there were, this is when uh, I had the issue with my trainer, the first trainer I had. And uh, somebody commented like, yeah, you know, see, that's why I left Prime there. You know, I left that BS a long time ago and stuff. I'm like, okay, that's cool. Hey, that's nice for you. They resolved my issue and I'm good now. And then you know they come back with another comment like you know making far more money, making far more money now than prior. I'm like, okay, good for you. I don't know what you want me to do with that information. And that's another thing I also hate. I'm not gonna say. I'm trying to not say hate because it's a very strong word. I'll say it annoys me. That's another thing that annoys me. I hate. I'm trying to stop saying hate, damn it. <laughs> I can't stand when I'm like, just minding my business, right? I can pull up to a fuel island. Maybe I'm going to the Denny's at the Flying J, grab a quick bike to eat, and people see if I have prime gear on, right? This is some random person. Usually the super trucker looking type of dudes. Some random person always want to come to me. Oh, you're a prime, man. I worked for them back in the day. Yeah, man, it wasn't too good for me. I had to leave there. Not enough money and all that stuff. I'm like, okay. And did I ask you that? Like, why, <laughs> why do I care? I don't care. What works for you? Works for you. What works for me works for me. Am I saying Prime is the greatest company in the world? No. But shit. I mean, the money works fine for me. Jesus Christ. Like, I, and it happens often. I'm like, bro, I don't care. I'm just here fueling. I'm just trying to fuel my truck and leave. That's it. I'm just here trying to get my food and, and eat my food, enjoy my, my alone time, and leave. I don't care if you used to work for Prime. Good for you. I don't care how they treated you. Good for you. That, like, that's one thing that's, that annoys me a lot at truck stops. But anyways, back to my six month review. Uh, I guess I'll start with some of the bads that I had. Um, that this was during uh, TNT, uh, the training process of getting my thirty thousand miles. I did hear it's fifty thousand now, so and don't quote me on that. I've seen that on uh, No Hippie Trucking and Transportation's channel. It's fifty thousand now, so just be aware of that if you're planning on coming to Prime. And if you live in Florida, they're not taking nobody from Prime. So sorry, good people of Florida. I guess you waited too long. <laughs> but anyways, um, uh, TNT was uh, not bad. Uh, 
my first trainer I had, we had our uh, slight issues. Um, I don't wish nothing uh, bad on him. The only thing, my main complaint with him is uh, how he talked to me. I'm like, don't talk to me like I'm a child, like you're a child or something. I understand I'm younger than you, um, and I'm probably the same age as one of your children, but don't talk to me like I'm some child, like your child or something. Just talk to me like a man and everything. And yeah, I understand it's your child. And I, one of the, my biggest pet peeves with him was it always seemed like he was blaming me for the loads that we got. Every single time we got a load and he didn't like it, oh, I, I, I didn't. I had my, I had way better playing loads than this when I was solo. Man, if they can't pay me better loads, I'm just gonna drop you back at the terminal, man. I can't do this type of stuff. I'm like, okay, why are you like throwing that towards me? Like, it's my fault they sent you these loads. I'm just here to get my training and get the hell out your truck. Trying to make it work. It, it was a blessing in disguise because my second trainer, greatest guy, greatest dude ever. Shout out to uh, Drew. That's my guy, man. He's like an older brother. He's like older brother again, man. And we're still cool to this day. We're still cool to this day, man. Uh, he made the training experience the greatest thing ever. Like, uh, he taught me well. <laughs> we didn't we didn't have any uh, issues, pretty much at all. Maybe it was just one time where I did mess up. Um, I, I believe it was uh, all these we were delivering to and all these give you this uh, little fob key fob that you got to return back when you're um, about to deliver when you're about to leave and I thought I lost it and I'm like there's no way because I left it on top of the dash he I seen his frustration come out and that was the first that was one of the first times he was angry. He's like, I'll wait for you to mess up. <laughs> but I didn't take offense to it because I understand. I understood the frustration. He's one of those people that if he's he got frustrated with me, I understood why. And I took the accountability. I'm like, you're right. I did mess up, but I'm going to find it. He's like, you got no choice but to find it because how are we going to get out of here? I did end up finding it, obviously. <laughs> and yeah. But he, he was like apologetic about it and stuff. He's like, man, I mean. I didn't mean to, you know, go off like that. And I, I told him, like, ah, man, I completely understand. Because I got respect for him. But, yeah. I'm not going to lie, he helped me a lot in this whole thing, man. Because I didn't learn how to back at all with my first trainer. And I was with him for three weeks. Because anytime I was about to back, this guy would always just be like, let me just do it. Let me just do it. Let me just every time. One time, only one time I got to back, and that was at a truck stop in Texas. I think it was a, um, I think it was a TA. It was a wide open space. It was a big TA. So it, that was the only time I got to back. And yeah, that's what sucked. But second trainer is like, oh no, you're gonna do this. Hey, he helped me learn how to back a lot, uh, back up the truck and trailer. Now I'm still gonna say I'm still I'm still a rookie at the back end. Don't get me wrong, but I am a lot better than I was when I first started. A lot better because I take my time a lot on it, and you know I appreciate that with my TNT training. Like I'm not afraid to back um, like I used to be. Now if it's blindside, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I don't I I do anything possible to avoid blindside backing straight up I, I cannot I'm not gonna say I cannot I'm pretty sure I can't I just rather not I know that granted I know there will be some situations when I would have to probably blindside back hey but I guess until that situation pops up guess what I'm gonna avoid the blindside backing uh, <clears throat> um, and then you know our fleet manager I appreciate the fleet manager too. Very cool guy. Um, I'm glad he let me come on his fleet too. Because, you know, I don't think I would want to be. He's part, my trainer and the fleet manager is part of the reason I was, I felt comfortable going lease. Because, you know, 
with the fleet manager. He always checked. He always checked up on me too, even during TNT training. Like, oh, how's everything? He's on it. That's one thing I appreciate. People that's on it. You know, I'm not gonna bother you as uh, I'm not. You're my fleet manager. You know, I'm not gonna bother you as much. All I just need, um, just give me a little. Makes sense. Hey, I'm out of there. I'm not even gonna bother you. And I guess that's what he appreciated too. I'm not gonna bother. I'm not gonna complain. I'm gonna do the job, get it done, and that's it. And yeah, you know, uh, I can't complain too much about uh, program rent. Honestly, um, I I believe. I'm not just saying this to be biased, but I truly believe. Prime is one of the best companies to first to start your trucking career. 30,000, 50,000 miles, whatever. Who cares? Like, that, this is why I always try to stress out a lot to people to do your research before you come out here. Do your research. If 30K at 50,000 miles is going to stop you from coming to Prime, then hey, that's you. It's not like you're doing it for free. They're still paying you. Yeah, it's not much, but it's training pay. That's a whole nother subject because, you know, some people complain about that. I'm just going to say this. When uh, when I was at, like, CFI, I think the training pay for CFI was, like, 30 cents a mile. I, probably even less. And I also researched with Schneider, not to, just, not to bring up other companies, but with Schneider, I heard they only pay maybe, like, 500 300 a week you're gonna go through if you're going through the training program with one of these schools just letting you know you're gonna get paid training pay until you pass until or until you're done with your training pretty much as you can tell I, I get annoyed with people that complain a lot all they do is sit complain 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 what are you gonna do to change your situation but I appreciate my own my time here. Still is. Uh, yeah, man, I can't really complain too much. Uh, Prime has been pretty good. Um, man, it was everything was a blessing in disguise for me. My my journey's been different uh, than a lot of people's to get here. Um, I I already have an old um, a video prior when I explained. I failed at two other schools before I came to Prime. The only reason I didn't come to Prime at first because I didn't think I would get accepted. So I just got heard of some of the restrictions, I guess, that they have and all that stuff. But yeah, I still ended up getting here. Everything was a blessing in disguise. And it worked out in my favor. I just didn't give up. And, you know, it showed how badly I wanted to be here. Um... And like I said, everybody's experience is going to be different. So don't try to come in my comments with the whole, oh, when I was at Prime, this and that. Well, that's you. Okay, that's you. Don't try to downplay my experiences. Just because you're bitter about something, I'm good. I guess a quick side note, what, um... Another thing about, I guess, super truckers. Why does it seem like like super truckers are, you know, dislike that people are okay working at a big company? I never understood that. You gotta get your own truck and everything. Yeah. I need to hear no door. Anyways. Um, uh, so, I guess apparently freight is getting worse. And yeah, it seems like the freight the rates uh, freight is even going lower. Um, I, I, it's a part of the game, I guess. Uh, but I'm gonna just still I'm not gonna just up and quit or nothing. I didn't come here to be a quitter. I'm just I'm gonna still work through everything. I'm gonna be home next weekend for five days. Uh, then come back out for three more weeks go home for Thanksgiving uh, for like I guess five days again probably seven go back on the road again for three weeks 
and that's gonna be the most time I spend because that's gonna be about 10 to 12 days I'm gonna spend at home. Uh, so I'm gonna just, I'm gonna have a pretty busy <laughs> next couple months. And then January, stay on the, yeah, all of January, stay on the road pretty much for the rest of the month of January. February is my birthday month, so I'm gonna probably take another 10 days off around my birthday time. I want to. I need a vacation. Definitely need a vacation, and I'm gonna just work it. Work on that. Save. So yeah. Um, I guess I'm gonna just leave that there. Leave this all here. I feel like I talked enough, anyways. <laughs> oh man. Anyways, appreciate you guys as usual. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's your boy MVP Master J signing out. Peace.